Welcome. In a previous video, I took a look at this Acasis NVMe SSD enclosure. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. And this enclosure supports USB 4, and I have it connected up to a Mac Mini running Apple Silicon M1 processor, which also supports USB 4. Now this USB enclosure also supports previous versions of USB. So if you find this video helpful, I'll put a link in the description to this enclosure and the SSD. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. And the SSD I'm using is a Samsung 970 EVO Plus, one terabyte model. So in this video, I'm going to go over the procedure to set this drive up as a boot drive. Now there are a couple different reasons why you might want to do that. One might be that you want a separate system for someone else to use. So the main system on the Mac could be used by one person, and then you could have a second system on the NVMe drive that another person could use, and you could restart the machine and switch back and forth between the two systems. Another could be that the hard drive went bad in your Mac. There's no way to upgrade the SSD inside of these new Macs. So if the hard drive goes bad or you need a larger hard drive, you can plug in one of these external hard drives. And using this Acasis enclosure, you're going to get very high speed. It's not like using an old 3.0 USB drive. This will run closer to the native speed of the internal SSD. So to get started, I'm going to shut down my computer and then I'm going to hold down the power button and the computer will turn on and then I'll wait for it to say options. And once that comes up, I'm going to click on it and go into the recovery mode. And I did a previous video on how to enter the recovery mode on these new Macs with the M1 processor. And I'll put a link in the description to my Mac playlist where you can find that in other videos I've done. So I'm going to shut down now and then I'll pick up with the recovery console. Okay, we see options here. I'll click on that. I'll hit continue. Okay, we have the recovery console loaded. You want to click on your username, hit next, type in your password, and then we'll have this menu come up. So the first thing I need to do is format the disk. So I want to click on disk utility, and I've already plugged in the SSD enclosure. I'll hit continue. So this will come up. Now this is where you do need to be careful. You don't want to mess up your Macintosh hard drive that's internal. I want to pay attention to the external. So I have this drive plugged in. It's named external NVMe, but this could be named anything. A lot of times it's just untitled or whatever. So I don't actually want to select this external NVMe. I want to go up to this menu next to the disk utility title and I'll hit show all devices. So I'll actually go up here to the Samsung 970 Evo. I'll hit erase. I'll name this Casus Mac. And for format, I want to use APFS. And for the scheme, I want to use the GUID partition map. I'll hit erase. It's erasing the drive. This shouldn't take very long. Okay, that's done. I'll hit done. I'll close this. I'll have our main menu up again. And then I want to click on reinstall Mac OS Big Sur. I'll click that. I'll hit continue. I'll hit continue here. I'll hit agree. I'll hit agree again. And now you'll see I have two drives here. I have the internal system drive and my external NVMe drive. So I want to select that. I'll hit continue. It says select a user to set as owner of the new volume. So I'll select me. I'll hit install. I'll enter in my password. I'll hit OK. I'll enter my password again. I'll hit continue. And now it's installing. It says it'll take about an hour and 25 minutes to install. So I'll be speeding the video up here and then I'll come back when it's completed. contains a built-in screen reader called voiceover. If you know how to use voiceover, press command F5 now to turn it on and set up your Mac. If you would like to learn how to use voiceover to set up your Mac, press the escape key. Okay, so the install completed. Now we have to go through the configuration. I'm going to go through this pretty quickly. I have a video on my playlist where I install Big Sur, where I also go through this stuff, but I'll check my country as United States. I'll hit continue. I'll hit continue here. Not now. I'll pick a Wi-Fi network. I'll hit continue. I'm going to hit not now on migration. I'll skip Apple ID. I'll agree to this. I'll agree. Okay, now it's asking me to create an account. So I skipped all that stuff, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you need to skip it. You need to read through those yourself and choose the right options for you. So now it's asking me to enter an account. So I'll do that. I'll hit continue. Continue, continue, continue. Disable Siri and continue, continue. Okay, now we have the keyboard assistant. I'll go through that. 
I think that's about finished. So we have a working system up now. So it's popping up this message asking me for a password. So I'm booted from the external drive right now, but the internal drive is still in the computer and it's encrypted and it needs a password for me to access it. So I can hit cancel here, but if I want to access it, I'll have to enter my password in. So I'll do that and we'll see it show up here on the right as Mac hard drive or Macintosh hard drive, I can't remember. Oh, it's not going to show up because I need to go here to my preferences under finder and say show connected hard drives, also do servers. So now we have the internal hard drive. So now we're booted and running off of an external SSD in the Acasis enclosure. So I'll do a quick benchmark here so you can see how fast this is. So I'll open up the Mac hard drive because I have the benchmark software on there. I'll go to applications and I could install it on this external drive if I wanted to. So it's Blackmagic speed test. I'll go to the gear. I'll select my target drive. I'll go down here. I'm not seeing the Acasis on the left here, so I'll just drag it over. That's weird. There we go. I don't know why it's not showing up here on the left. Am I showing everything? Huh. Okay, so I dragged it onto here. I'll hit open. Oh, it's read only. Let me see. I'll drag over my user directory. That should work. Okay, I'll start that. So we're getting about 1300 megabytes per second write speed and about 288 megabytes per second read speed. So as you can see, this is incredibly fast. Now, it's not quite as fast as the internal drive. But for most computing tasks, this is plenty fast. I mean, you do video editing on this. Absolutely, you can surf the web, you know, spreadsheets, you name it. So if you want to switch back and forth between the two drives, you can shut it down and then hold down the power button when you boot up like we did before. And then both of these drives will come up along with options and you can click on what you want to boot into. You can boot into the main hard drive, the external drive, or into the recovery mode. So aside from choosing the disk at boot time, you can also choose it right now. You can go into your system preferences and on the bottom right corner, you can see the startup disk. We'll click on that and this will show the disks that are available for booting. So, okay, they're both up this. So I'll have to unlock this. And now I can choose the uh, Casus or the Mac hard drive. So if I want to boot into the internal drive, I'll click on this and I'll click restart. And also if you shut this down and unplug the Acasis drive, it will also boot into the internal hard drive. I don't know what will happen if you plug the Acasis back in, if you have to select it or if it will remember that you used to have it as the boot drive. Another thing to consider with this drive is that it's unencrypted. So I have File Vault turned on on the internal drive. I can go to Security and Privacy and then go to Fire Vault. I'll click the little lock again. And it says File Vault is turned off for the disk Acasis Mac. So I can click this button and it will turn it on. And I did a previous video on this and it's in my playlist. On the new Macs, on the internal drives, when you turn on File Vault, it turns on nearly instantaneously. It doesn't have to encrypt the whole drive because it's already encrypted. But on an external drive, when you hit this turn on File Vault, it will have to actually encrypt the whole drive. So you only want to do this when you have downtime and you can let your computer sit by itself and encrypt the drive. And then once that's done, you can shut it down or do whatever with it. And then every time you boot it up, you'll need to type in that password to access the drive. But it's much more secure and I would highly recommend that, especially if you have sensitive data on an external drive. I wouldn't think twice about turning File Vault on. So that's how you can install a system on an external drive and this Acasis enclosure is very ideal for that because it's super fast. You can do the same thing with the USB 3 drive, but it's going to be relatively slow compared to this option. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.